chosen was you who you who you chosen was back with another powerful and productive video right great you read the title and you know what the title is saying you as a chosen one your lifestyle is enviable by so many people oh yes so many people envy your lifestyle the kind of lifestyle that you are living as a chosen one is so classic it's so su superb it's so one of a kind it's so authentic it's so real and a lot of people wants to be like you many people want to be like you i'm telling you chosen one the irony of your lifestyle as a chosen one is that despite all the struggles all the hustle all the grinding despite all the tribulations the trials the temptations right the 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 weaknesses you are battling with i'm telling you there are so many people that are desiring to be like you. There are so many people that are praying to be like you. There are so many people that what you have, they are praying to also have it, I'm telling you. There are so many people that wish they had the life that you are enjoying right now as a chosen one. I'm telling you, so if you are a chosen one, stop belittling yourself, stop playing small, stop looking down upon yourself because God has created you well. There is something great inside of you. There is something special about you. There is something authentic about your personality. You have a, an authentic personality. You, 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 you are charismatic, right? You, you have a very positive outlook, I'm telling you. And that is why you must keep on enjoying your life. I'm yes, chosen one, make time to enjoy your life. I'm telling you, make time to enjoy your life because this life that you have as a chosen one, if you don't enjoy your life, you don't enjoy the journey as you keep, I mean, striving and desiring for new things, reaching to new goals in life. I'm telling you, you'll regret one day. So enjoy every moment. Enjoy the process. Life is a process. Enjoy every step, right? Every step in life. Enjoy it. If you are single, begin now to enjoy your single life. If you are married, enjoy your married life. If you have kids, enjoy your kids. If Whatever. Whatever you are having right now in life, enjoy it. I'm telling you. Because the thing is, chosen one, if you don't make time to enjoy your life right now, when you pass away, right? People, family are going to create time. Yes, on how to bury you, how to arrange things for your funeral, right? So don't bother about that. And bother now about the present moment, the time you have now. We all have 24 hours in a day. Use yours profitably and make time for enjoyment. Oh, yes, enjoyment is very important in life for every chosen one. Yes, so if you are enjoying right now, people will be like, Oh, why are you yo, you wasting money on this? You're spending money on that. You know, when you buy something, people will say, Oh, you are living a flamboyant life, you are living a, a luxurious life, you living life. I'm telling you, if that makes you feel good, go ahead and do it. Because no matter what you do, people are going to talk because they envy your lifestyle. Some people are, are saying that, right, when you purchase something new for yourself, something good for yourself, people talk about it and they feel like you're wasting money because they envy your lifestyle. They want to be like you. You see, it's just that many people don't have the access that you have. You see, they don't have the options that you have. If they have such options, they will do even worse things than you are doing right now. I'm telling you, and that is people. You see, some every human being, every person has desires. But you see, what is keeping people from fulfilling, uh, from fulfilling and you know, getting their desire achieved or something is, you know, sometimes because of money. A lot of people don't have access to it. And because people, many people don't have access to, access to, I mean, maybe a huge sum of money, they will, because of that deprivation that they are suffering from, right? Because of that lack of access that they're not having, they will stand on that and be saying certain things that will provoke you. I'm telling you. But the truth of the matter is, they are envious of your lifestyle. They want to be in your shoe. They want to be in your shoe. They want to be like you. 
I'm telling you, chosen one, they just want to be like you. Your lifestyle, a lot of people want to be like you. They are desiring for it. It's just that they don't know what you're going through. You see, they want to be in your shoe, but they don't know that deep within you, even your legs are pinning, it's hurting inside, but you keep on walking gently and people think, oh, all is well with you. It is okay with you. They want, you see, that is people for you. All right. That is people for you. They are enviable of, of, of the life, lifestyle you live in. And they want to, they just want to be like you as they, they just want to be forgetting that. Your lifestyle comes with a responsibility. There are prices that you are paying for your lifestyle. There are expenses that you're paying for it. What they didn't know is that. Yes. You see, for instance, if you are blessed with a car right now, you have a car and people are envious of the car that you have. You see, they wish to have a car like yours, a car like you. But... What they didn't know is that that car that you have comes with responsibility. You have to be maintaining the car. You have to be buying fuel. You need to make budget for that. You have to change filters. You have to change oil from time to time. Sometimes you have to even change your, 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 your brake shoes and stuff and a whole lot of things. It comes with responsibilities. And they forget about that. A lot of people, many people are envious of your lifestyle. Maybe you're living in a mansion. They want to live in that mansion. What they didn't know is that it, it, that mansion you are living in comes with a lot of huge responsibility. Yeah, you, you need people to employ people to be even cleaning the house for you. Yes, you need people. You, and you, you, you have to pay them for it. The huge mansion, the more the electrical bills and things so every blessing comes with responsibility but when people see that they feel like oh i wish to be like this guy i wish to have this thing i wish to have that thing i wish to have they didn't know that all these things have prizes that you are paying for it they never knew right they never knew so um why am i doing this video i'm recording this video to inspire you as a chosen one that your lifestyle, where you are right now in life, you might think, um, you know, you're not where you want to be, okay? But you are somewhere that I'm telling you there are people that are looking up to you. You are at a level that people want to get to that level in which you are right now. Yes. So you are being blessed. You are an inspiration to people. Many people admire you secretly. Maybe they might not come to tell you, but I tell you, they admire you secretly. They love what you're doing. They keep watching you. They keep studying you. And they craving, desiring, wishing, praying to be like you. So don't give up. Don't give up upon all the challenges, upon all the struggles. You see, these struggles are part of life. Every blessing too is going to come with challenge, with struggles. If you don't like struggles, then you don't want blessings. That's it. Right? So keep doing you and keep being you. Because your life is worthy of emulation to people. If some people are looking down upon you. I'm telling you, others are looking up to you. Oh yes, others are looking up to you. Knowingly or unknowingly, there are people that are looking up to you. And remember, no matter the situation in which you are today, there is someone in a worse situation than you are. If there is an adage in my in my dialect, which in my in my in my tradition, which says, I'll, I'll say it in English, because if I say it in my dialect, you might not understand. It says, no matter how you seem or think, no matter how you think, let me put it that way, no matter how you think that your house is far, or no matter how your house seems to be far, there is always another person, okay, whose house 
is ahead of yours or below yours right so what does that tells us it tells us that there are people either above you or below you and those below you they look up to you as you are also looking up to somebody <laughs> in front of you ahead of you there are people that you are also ahead of that they are looking up to you so enjoy this present moment enjoy your life it's a gift giving to you don't say oh i'm waiting for a better time i'm waiting if 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 i'm married before i will enjoy life if the children come before i will enjoy life if i have my own kids before i'm gonna enjoy life if i have my car before i'm gonna enjoy my life who knows we don't know what tomorrow might bring because the future is not ours so there is the need for every one of us to live our life right now as if it were or it is our last day on earth and when you keep living your life that way i'm telling you someday you might be right oh yes if you keep living your life as if each day as if it is your last day on earth there are battles that you will not be worrying about there are things you will not worry about you will not waste time on there are things you will not stress your 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 time over you will not waste time holding grudge with people you will not hold you will not waste time keeping malice keeping bitterness keeping offense being resentful no you know you're not gonna waste time on critics on haters on your enemies you're not gonna waste time on them yes you'll be trying to make it right with your god if today is your last day you'll be trying to build a very cordial relationship with your god that is what you be you should you'll be doing you'll be you will try to enjoy your life to live good right you you will try to take good care of yourself if today is your last day you will try to do good things to put this in order that is how we are supposed to be living our life each and every day because nothing is promised chosen one in this life except death that is inevitable that is the only thing that is being promised to us i say that nothing on earth is being promised right so don't be stressing yourself don't be worrying don't be keeping offense with 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 mortals right the person you holding grudge with right now ask yourself the person you're not talking to right now ask yourself in 100 years time from now where would you be and where would that person be we will all be dead and gone so why hold grudge if you understand things of this nature that we are just here we are on this earth we passing through we are here to live and there is no other purpose to live good to to live in peace to love and to enjoy our life and one day we're gonna go you will do it right you will not be keeping malice you will not be keeping offense you will not be harboring bitterness inside of you because such things will only keep delaying you as a chosen one yes chosen one continue to live your life live it to the fullest make good use of the present moment given to you for i tell you you might not know that people are looking up to you they admire you secretly but i'm telling you people envy you i tell you people sometimes see me and they tell me fatically they tell me for fact that oh i envy your life people tell me that that they envy my life yes they say oh i wish i wish to be like you i wish you, i wish to be like you people love the lifestyle you live in live it well live it well and don't regret anything don't regret anything just try to make it make it right with your god and keep moving forward no matter what and enjoy 
Enjoy every single moment. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. It is a journey. If you are embarking on the journey, will you be sad? You don't have to be sad. You don't have to worry. Success is coming. So worry not. Get rid of doubt. Give no room to doubt, to worry, to fear. Give no room to lack of understanding, to limiting beliefs. Right? And enjoy each and every moment. Feel the, the, the present moment. Feel the sound around you right now. Feel the air that is, 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 is passing through your body. Feel the blood that is flowing through you. Stop worrying about tomorrow, about this, about that. And enjoy this present moment. Right? I'm not saying you shouldn't desire for, for greatness, for better things in life. But worrying will not do anything. Worrying, holding grudge, will only sabotage you. It will sabotage you yourself. Worry not. Fear not. God always wants keep warning us of that. Right? Your lifestyle is one of a kind. Live it to the fullest. Right? Great. Keep doing you and keep being you. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to have confidence in yourself and put God first in whatever you do and have a free heart, a free spirit. Love, right? Remember, love and be loved. Help and be helped. Show mercy and receive mercy. Your lifestyle is beautiful. Keep doing the beautiful you, the handsome you. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.